Nakita nyo na ba ang logo na to? Yan ang logo ng Itatayong Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge or BCIB for short. A few days ago, President Bongbong Marcos Jr. himself led the ceremonial switching of the BCIB Geotechnical Investigation Drilling Equipment marking the official launching of DPWH biggest infrastructure project to date. Excited na ba kayo sa BCIB? Kasi ako, sobrang excited na! Tara na at panoorin na natin ang highlight ng monumental event na ito sa ating kasaysayan. Pati na rin ang presentation video for the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. One, two, three! Ground floor, I get on. Now, based on position, we are glad to drill. We are glad to drill. Thank you. The expertise and professionalism in infrastructure development has made us confident that this bridge will be constructed with the highest standards in mind, with quality and within the planned time frame. Let me also, of course, express our continuing gratitude to the Asian Development Bank and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank for committing to finance the BCIB project from its inception to its construction in the foreseeable future. The DPWH, together with the experts from Joint Venture, are presently working on the final detailed engineering design that will ensure proper mitigating measures that are in place. We thank the Asian Development Bank for supporting this very important flagship project. It always feels good to look forward to the promise of better days ahead. However, it is the now that we focus on. It is today and all the succeeding days of work ahead of us that should receive our dedication and attention so we will attain the vision of a well-connected and fully thriving country. The Bataan Interlink Bridge Project will transform the infrastructure landscape of the Philippines. Spanning the mouth of the world-famous Manila Bay, the project will provide a vital transportation link for the region and the nation. At 32 kilometers long, the new iconic gateway will drastically cut travel time between the provinces of Cavite and Bataan from 4 to 5 hours down to only 30 minutes. The project is made up of six main components. On the south end, a new highway connection will link the existing roads in Cavite to the bridge. Out over the water, a low causeway structure called the Marine Viaduct carries vehicles along the majority of the bridge and leads to the first of two shipping channel crossings. The South Channel Crossing is an iconic cable stay bridge structure with one of the longest cable stay spans in the world. The South Channel Crossing is one of the longest in the world with a clear main span of 900 meters, which allows the largest shipping and cruise vessels to pass underneath. For this cable-supported segment of the project, the roadway structure changes from concrete box girders of the marine viaducts to lighter steel boxes tied together with cross struts. The road deck is 80 meters above the water, and the full tower height is among the tallest in the world at 335 meters. The architectural lighting for both cable stay structures includes three components. Tower illumination grazing the recesses along the height of the tower, cable uplights, and approach piers lit from small downlights at superstructure level. All fixtures are durable LEDs and the entire bridge will have fully programmable color changing possibilities. Near Corregidor Island, the bridge has an interchange which allows for turnarounds and will connect to the island as part of a future project. A future project will connect a road from the island to this interchange. The North Channel Crossing spans over the second shipping channel. The North Channel Crossing is the smaller of the two cable stay segments but it is still a significantly large structure. Its main span stretches 400 meters long.
Due to its differing proportions from the south channel, the roadway deck this time is a frame system comprised of steel girders and floor beams. The deck is lifted 47 meters above the water and the full tower height is 181 meters tall. The architectural lighting for the North Channel Crossing is the same as for the South Channel. The roadway lights for the full project are long-lasting LED fixtures and may be powered by solar panels on top. Their custom-designed poles are vertical throughout the standard marine viaduct portion of the project, but at the two cable stay crossings, they angle to match the inclination of the cables. And finally, back on land, the highway extends to connect to the existing roadways in Bataan Province. A project of this scale is an admirable undertaking. Thanks to the hard work of the Department of Public Works and Highways and the financial support of the Asian Development Bank, the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge will be well worth the investment in the Manila Bay community. Here are some of the quick facts about the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. The feasibility study for the BCIB project started in March 2018, funded by Asian Development Bank or ADB. The final DED or Detailed Engineering Design is at 70% and is headed by the DPWH, UPMO, Roads Management Cluster 2 together with the experts from the joint venture group of T.Y. Lin International, Pyung Hua Engineering Consultants, Renardet, and DCCD Engineering Corporation. The BCIB is worth 3.6 billion US dollars or 175.6 billion pesos. The civil wars will be co-founded by the ADB and Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The BCIB is a 32.15 km four-lane cable state bridge from Barangay Alasacin in Marveles, Bataan, crossing Manila Bay and passing by Corregidor Island and ending in Barangay Timalan, Concepcion, Naik, Cavite. The BCIB is three and a half times longer than the Cebu Cordova Bridge. Oh. It is composed of six main components. Number one, Cavite Highway Connector. Number 2, Marine Viaducts. Number 3, South Channel Crossing. This is one of the cable state segments of the BCIB, one of the two shipping channels, and is one of the longest bridges in the world with a main span of 900 meters. Its road deck is 80 meters above Manila Bay, and the full tower height is at 335 meters. The South Channel Crossing have a fully programmable architectural LED lighting features. Number 4, Curihidor Island Connector Interchange. This will allow vehicles to turn around and will be connected to Curihidor Island in the future. Number 5, North Channel Crossing. This is the second cable stayed segment and shipping channel of the BCIB. Its main span is 400 meters long with a road deck of 47 meters above Manila Bay and the full tower height is at 181 meters. The North Channel Crossing have the same fully programmable architectural LED lighting features of the South Channel Crossing. And number 6, Bataan Highway Connector. The BCIB once completed will be the longest bridge in our country and will shorten the travel time from Bataan to Cavite and vice versa from the usual 5 hours drive to approximately 45 minutes. The BCIB will be divided into 7 contract packages to accelerate its completion. The target completion date is on 2028, before the end of President Bongbong Marcos Jr.'s term. The economic rate of return of the BCIB as indicated by ADB is more than 25%, thus not only improving the connectivity of North Luzon with South Luzon, but also spurred economic growth in this region. Yan na muna ang updates for the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. As soon as we have more major updates, I'll make sure to make a new video para maging updated tayong lahat. At dahil nga real estate investing ang channel ko, allow me to invite you to invest as early as now with SMDC Zeal Residences.
Zill Residences is just 30 minutes away, going to the entry point of the BCIB in Cavite. You can get your dream one-bedroom condo unit for as low as 6,800 pesos monthly for 48 months down payment. Pwede mo rin siyang ipasok sa Pagibig Fund Financing to avail of the low monthly amortization and longer payment terms. So ano pang hinihintay mo? Invest na! At wag ka! Hindi na rin ako magtataka kung one of these days mag-announce ang SMDC ng new projects in Bataan or nearby Naik Cavite. Guys, proud ba kayo sa Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge? Sa tingin nyo ba, makakatulong ba ito ng husto sa traffic problems going to Cavite, Tagaytay, and South Luzon? Nagustuhan nyo ba or okay ba sa inyo ang current design ng BCIB? Just click the subscribe button and notification bell icon to keep you updated on my future videos. Kung proud at very happy ka sa Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge, click the thumbs up button. Follow me on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram at Desai Barreto. Do watch out for my future videos kasi sa channel na to, hindi ka lang magiging updated sa mga latest infrastructure flagship projects. Matututo ka pang mag-invest ng wisely and safely. Just click the videos on the right for the latest SMDC news, discounts, and promotions. At kung mahilig ka naman sa mga Build Better More projects, fully updated ako dyan. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!